Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode 186 of Constructing Los Angeles. How is everybody doing today? We're back on the city. We're out here on the beach, and we're ready to continue to get some work done. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Basically, my goal for today's episode is to do a few things. We'll see how many of those things I get to in, uh, in the time we have allotted. But uh, my goal first off is to get the pier finished. So we got a big chunk of this done on last week's stream. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the only thing we really left to do for this place is to add a couple more stands of just miscellaneous things. So maybe another concession stand here. Maybe some sort of arcade game right here. That's probably what I'm going to be planning for today. Uh, this area is pretty much done. I might end up in the future adding another stand right here. If I do, I'm not going to do it today because I don't have an idea for it just yet. And then we hope we have the flower pot coffee shop and we have um, we got the bedazzled hot dogs over here. So I think we're pretty good. Um, in terms of this area, having everything filled in. I have the ice cream little stands over here, the little carts, and all these benches. So this is a pretty good pier right here in terms of what I want. So again, it's not going to be too fancy. I mean, the Ferris wheel is the fanciest part. We're not going to have like a roller coaster and all that stuff. It's not, it's just really not that big of a, a structure. So uh, first thing I want to do is actually create a staircase that actually heads down to the beach from the pier because we don't have that yet. So if you were on the pier and you wanted to go down to the beach, you'd have to walk all the way down the boardwalk uh, to get onto the beach, unless you just jumped off and landed in the sand, or you did a dive off of the uh, the end of the pier here into the water, which I would not recommend. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, I'm going to need some stuff out here. I'm just going to grab some of my standard building equipment for this kind of thing, some, some wood and some fences and some... Uh, do I need fences? Probably not. I actually probably don't need fences, but whatever. We'll take them anyway. All right, so basically, I'm just going to build this right here. All right, so we're going to go two blocks away, and then the stairs are just going to basically run right down. So pretty simple. I'm just going to do it from probably like here. So uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? What's the best way? Because I don't want to like uh, make any shapes that are like weird. So I'll probably do something like this. I'll take this and open that up and take a pillar up right through here, connecting to there. I'll place that there. And then have this go behind it like this and like that. So, anyway, guys, thanks for coming back for another episode of Constructing Los Angeles. We have a question of the day to answer as well. We'll do that in just a minute. Um, but first, I just want to get this staircase done. And then once I get started on those concession stands, we will answer today's CLD question of the day. Because uh, we have a good question today. So, I'm looking forward to answering that. All right. So, we're going to take that up there. And then this is just going to get filled in with regular oak wood. And then at the end here, we start to staircase this down to the beach. So this is just a good little exit uh, onto the sand. So, you know, you can come out here and do your surfing and whatever you want to do here. And that's fine. Do some sunbathing, the beach goers, I guess you could say. All right, so let's get this put in here. And uh, the other thing that I might work on today, if I can get the uh, pier finished... Uh, in a timely manner is I might head over to Eclipse because I have some things to work on in Eclipse and being that that is my main project right now on the world it is my number one priority so I work on it a lot just like I did when I was finishing up the stadium we did a lot of episodes focused on the stadium trying to finish it up so that's kind of the same thing with Eclipse alright so this is going to go around through here and I guess I could take it under here as well yeah why not alright so there we go real simple there's a little staircase down to the beach just like that I like that. I was thinking another thing I might do was actually add those showers. Um, I don't know if they have these at every beach, but at least the beach that I normally go to where I live. Um, they have these little shower here. They aren't, I'll just build it and kind of explain it as I go. They have these little shower things. So you can kind of wipe off the sand on your feet before you head back up onto the boardwalk. Um, so I'm going to try to build this here. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to kind of create like a little random platform of stone. Uh, basically representing the sand kind of got, I guess, pushed over it over time. Uh, so something like that, right? And then I'm going to have um, two of these right here. These are going to go up a little bit and connect, I don't know, let's say that high. They'll come across there. And then that'll go like that. And those are basically like little shower things. And I might even do another smaller shower thing right there. Or maybe even lower than that, like this level. Because that's like the one for your feet, I guess. Uh, and then the one above is for like your whole body. Something like that, right? Might even take this one out an extra block because we don't want it to be like right over the other one. So something like that. Um, I don't know. It looks, actually that looks pretty good now that I look at it for a second. Alright, so we'll do that. 
And then you have to have the little levers that turn it on and off. So best thing I can do for that is just put a lever on the side here. Um, I could also make it like a, a full block on the edge right over here. So turn this into maybe a full block of stone, let's say. And then I could put maybe a tripwire hook on it. That might work. Put a tripwire hook on this side. Something like, or maybe like that. Does that look better or worse? I think that looks a little bit better. So we'll do that. We'll do a tripwire hook and that'll turn on the shower. So there you go. That looks pretty good. So something like that. Basically these little showers off the edge of the beach. Just some small details that I like. And that looks pretty good. So when you're done with the beach, you can walk up and knock the sand off your feet. And then head back onto the boardwalk. So I know I always do that because I don't like getting sand on my feet whenever I go to the beach. Okay guys, so I decided that I didn't want to work on the rest of the pier. Um... Well, I mean, like those little stands, uh, the, the showers and the staircase looks really good. So, uh, the stands, I just really don't have any ideas for it yet. Um, I just still have to kind of, you know, think about it a little bit more because I don't want to just build something that looks like crap. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'm over here by the Eclipse Towers and this was the other part of the video that I want to work on. So let's go inside. Um, actually I can show you from the outside. I've made a little bit of progress in this place. Um, up here on this side. Yeah. Every other level I've added the small bathrooms on the second floor. This is the ensuite bathroom for these bedrooms. So what I can do this episode is build maybe a few of those bedrooms as well as do the master bathroom as well. So we have a couple of options that we can do, uh, but the towers are getting, uh, you know, very close to being complete. Well, at least this one is. So, um, and by very close, I mean, you know, it's, we're, you know, we still have uh, several days to finish it, but you know, it's uh, slowly but surely it's a process guys. But let me go up to the first level here and see what's up. So we're going to come inside right here. And, okay, so right here we have a bedroom, so let me just take a look at what I need to build this place. Um, alright, so we have this quartz lining here, so what I'm probably gonna do is build this out of full blocks instead, because I'm probably gonna have a carpet in this room. Okay, and we also need a snow. Okay, uh, where's snow again? Here we go. And then we're gonna need some Danvilles and Vils. This is a much more simple bathroom, so, or bedroom design, so, um, it's not gonna take as many blocks as the other one. Should I do something like that? Maybe. All right, let's grab some wood as well. So let's go down to the uh, level, or actually, let's go up a level. Actually, do we do it on this side? We could just do it on this side. Yeah, it'd be better if we just did it on this side. Okay, so uh, right, basically right above these, uh, or right next to this quartz here, we basically do that because we want to kind of cover that up, and that's the best way to do that. So we're going to do four blocks across right here. Is it four blocks across or five? I think it's four, but you know what I might do? I might change it, actually. Um, I might actually take this all the way up to the ceiling now that I'm thinking about it. You know what, I'm gonna go back and look because I might make changes to this because I don't know if I like it that much. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five here. What I might do is make it four and then make the bed four blocks wide. And we'll continue to make the bed five blocks. Yeah, okay, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna just slightly modify this design to, and just a little bit better now because that, that old design's actually pretty old, so... Alright, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these, uh, wait, should I move these? Yeah, I'm going to move these right here, whoop, <laughs> that's not good. Alright, so we're going to move that there, I'm going to shave a block right there, there we go. That's what I want to do, like that. And then on this block here, we're going to place the quartz going down four or five or whatever it's going to be. I guess to right here, yeah, and then I'm going to place... Our snow, then our carpet, then our light blue carpet. So that's going to be our new bed. I like that a little bit better uh, for two reasons. Reason number one is that's a little bit wider, and I like the two block wide pillow. Um, also, I can put carpeting in here now, and it's not going to be kind of obstructed. So, what kind of carpet color do we want in here? We got to choose wisely on this one because um, not a lot of things go with blue. We could go brown, that might not look good. We could go white, that might not look good. We go gray, that might look good. We could go green. I, I think that's the four, maybe even blue. So let's try a dosage of each one of these and see which one I like the most. All right, let's grab some of this stuff here. So let's start with brown. Again, there's not a whole lot of difference between, it's probably not the best idea to sample this here because there's spruce wood on this level. So maybe we'll go up to the next level to, to try out the brown. Let's try blue. Um, blue might look pretty good. Let's just kind of fill it in on one side here and see how it looks. Because blue is nice because it matches the light blue comforter, which is always important. 
And don't worry about the uh, block underneath of the the anvil being different. I, I honestly don't mind that as much as other people might. Um, I used to care about that kind of stuff, but then I realized that it's just not that big of a deal. So, all right. Um, what do you guys think? I actually like the blue. I think the blue looks really good. Maybe I'll do like one side of the room blue and then one side green, maybe? This might not be a good idea. We're going to try it, though. All right. So, one side of the room is blue. Ooh, actually, that looks pretty good. Am I crazy to think that that looks actually pretty decent? One, two, three on this side. One, two, three, four. So it's not 100% symmetrical, which is a little bit of a problem. But again, at the same time, I kind of like it how it's not 100% symmetrical. What do you guys think? <laughs> you guys got to have to let me know about that. I'm going to leave this one how it is, and um, we'll just kind of reconvene. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get out the necessary blocks that I need to create the next level here. So uh, that requires anvils, and we need that. And we need quartz. Uh, I'll get rid of the brown wool. Because we're, let's, honest, let's be honest, we're not going to use brown wool. So we won't even test that. Uh, gray we might keep, but I have to replace it anyway. And then we need light blue, so I'll replace the night vision. Alright, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not so sure about this. It'll, it'll have to let it sit for a little bit and just get a, you know, a feel for it. But let's go up to the next level and build another one of these things. It'll be a little bit different because the stone level will be here, so... Um, I, yeah, it'll be a lot different, actually. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and place one, two, three, four. We're gonna place our anvils right here. One, two, three, of course, sponsored by Danville's Anvils. Take that up right there. These rooms are a little dark. I'm gonna have to find another way to light these. It'll be really easy, though, so I'm not really worried about that. But we are gonna have to find a way to light these and make, give these rooms a little bit more detail, because right now they don't have a whole lot of detail. So I want to change that for sure. Okay, and then we got our lining of that, then light blue. I could actually just change the comforters for each level. I could do that. Okay, and then blue. So let's let's see how the blue looks in the entire room, and not like half blue, half green. Let's see how that looks before we um, make a decision on this. So we'll try all blue. Because I like the blue. I think it looks pretty good, especially um, with a comforter. I, the, only thing I was, the only reason I was thinking green is because it matches the leaves. All blue looks really good too as well, honestly. It kind of has like that marine feel in this room. It looks a little bit like a room that I built in the HGTV Dream Home Let's Build. I like this though. Let's see how it looks from the outside. That's probably a good judgment. So I like that a lot. And on that level, I'm going to be honest. I kind of like the all blue a little bit more. But then again, maybe we'll just do different color carpets for each level. Because that way we'll mix it up a little bit. Um, we might do that. I don't know. I just really like the bedrooms down on the first level. So... It's uh, it's kind of tough to make a second one. Like if you go down, let's go down one level down here, um, and then down this way. Yeah, I really really like these bedrooms. Like I think this looks really nice and sleek. So if we could do something like this, that would be awesome. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's see what else do we have to do in here. We have this bathroom in here that we have to work on. I could build a couple of these. Uh, I might switch out this carpet though. This carpet kind of looks bad. What if I did um white and blue maybe actually that might look pretty good let's try that out i might do like a little patterned carpet here so something like this um will this look good this might look good uh every two blocks away so right there will be good just broke a block i didn't want to break uh oh that's not good. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me f grab that right there. Okay. That actually looks a little bit better as that shelf off that wall because there's not gray carpet below it. So maybe that'll work out. Yeah, I definitely have to switch this out for a different color though. And I actually might move it. Wait. If this is one block away from the wall here, that's two blocks away from the wall. So maybe, just maybe, I do something like this. Move it two blocks away from the wall. That way it's both two blocks away from the wall. Like that. And then this this might be gotten rid of now. Because it kind of looks weird having that little pink there. That little lip of pink. At the same time, it doesn't though. I don't know. I'm not so sure about this bathroom. I didn't really like this one to be honest when I first built it. Might change it up still. Um, It's dark in here as well. We got to light this place better. However, we're going to do that. I have no idea. We, what we could do is we could add... A no, that's not right. Wait, now that is right. I just need to get rid of this. 
we need to add some upside down slabs here and then we can put a beacon up here on this little shelf that's the way i really like to light rooms and i don't think that'll melt that snow if it does we can make a different toilet design but i like that yeah it's not bad it's not bad it's not the best bathroom in the world but it's not too bad i like the mirror i think that was good that we had space for that all right so i'll probably multiply these not today though but i'll definitely multiply them did i ever show these benches i have a little bench right here kind of like gta and it looks out over like this part, which I like, so that's pretty cool. Okay, guys, so I am going to answer today's question of the day while I multiply a few more levels of these bedrooms. So uh, I want to make sure I get to the question of the day because I don't want to forget about it. So let's go ahead and get to it right now. Today's question of the day comes from Norsta Childa. Hopefully I got your name right. Um, and the question is, do you have any traditions or routines you do before recording a video? So I really like this question um, because I do have a little bit of a routine that I go through on every single day and I try to follow. Um, and I, do I have any traditions? I could have to think about that. Yeah, I think I do have some funny little ones that I can add on to this, uh, answer, but we'll start off with the routines. Uh, so basically what I do is, well, let's, let's, let's jump back a little bit because my routine actually starts the night before when it, when it comes to recording videos. So what I do is before I go to sleep, um, the night before recording a video, I kind of make sure that I have everything ready and I have all my ideas, uh, figured out. Uh, before you know going to sleep so let's say for cld for example since we are recording a cld right now uh the night before i will decide what i want to record on video and then i also pick my question of the day um and that's kind of how i prepare for the video the night before and then basically what i do is the next morning i don't have to worry about you know searching through and trying to find a question of the day or thinking of something to build on the video i already have that stuff squared away uh, so i can basically just uh get up and then get right to it so what I do right when I wake up is I always take a shower, obviously, because I'm a, a clean person, I guess. <laughs> but uh, no, for, but the only reason I, the main reason I do that uh, before recording is so I can kind of like wake up a little bit. Because, you know, right when you wake up, you're a little bit groggy and your voice is a little bit, you know, you know, not 100%, you know, effective. So um, I usually try to take a shower just to kind of wake myself up a little bit before I record. And that's pretty much the only thing I do. So pretty much right after I'm done with that, I start recording and I make my video and however long that takes, you know, I, you know, go through the process of doing that stuff. And then I wait a long time for editing. And the main reason why is there's one word on my mind when I finish recording and that word is food. So <laughs> pretty much right after I'm done, I go get food, whether I go out or just go make something. And then I do all that stuff. And then when I get back, um, usually I'll, I wait until mid afternoon before I start editing. I like to kind of just like unwind a little bit from recording before I get into the editing because you know right after you finish recording a video the last thing you want to do is like watch it back you know what I mean um, in terms of like you know because you basically just said all those words so you know ha having to like instantly hear them back to yourself is sometimes a little bit crazy it makes you <laughs> drives you a little bit crazy but so I wait a little bit before I edit um, I edit in the afternoon, and then I, you know, right after I finish editing, I upload my video to YouTube, and that's pretty much my day-to-day -day routine when it comes to recording. Um, so I managed, I said it for CLD, when it comes to Survival Island, what I do is the night before I'll DM Tyler and say like, yo, what time do you want to record tomorrow? Just let me know, and then we kind of figure that out, and, you know, sometimes Tyler doesn't respond or doesn't answer me, but that's a different story for a different day, a different video. Um, so that's kind of what I do for Survival Island, and then there's sometimes I record at nighttime um, with friends, depending on what we're doing. But for the most part, I record in the morning right after I wake up, and that's a pretty good routine for me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. As far as traditions or something like that, um, I tend to test my mic way too many times. So basically, when I first turn on my recording before I actually start the um, you know recording the video, when I'm doing like my testing and stuff like that, make sure my mic is working all that stuff. Um, I usually say like testing, testing one, two, three, like 15 times before I actually start. And I say, here we go. A lot of times, like I'll just constantly be saying, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I got myself like pumped up to record or something like that. Uh, it's kind of funny, but that's what I do. And I always have like water, like right before, like I'll just like drink a little bit of water. So I obviously, so I'm not parched during the video because talking for 20 minutes straight sometimes can get a little bit, uh, rough on your voice. So I try to avoid any of those issues if I can. And that's pretty much my like traditions and routines when it comes to recording. Again, it's pretty simple. It's pretty standard. Um, just I record in the morning. It's kind of like a day-to-day -day thing. So um, sometimes I record multiple videos per day, but usually it's one video a day that I record. Um, and then I just that's my video for each day. And then for my second channel, sometimes I make another video as well. So it really depends uh, because my second channel is a little bit different when it comes to my routines. So um, 
but that's the routine that I kind of follow on my main channel and it works pretty good for me. I usually try to get a video. I usually try to get a video out every day and that usually works for me. So um, thank you very much for that question. Uh, if you guys want to leave your question of the day, submissions in the comment section or send them to me on Twitter, that'd be fantastic. Um, and I'll sort through those for next episode. That'll be part of my routine for next CLD. So anyway, thank you guys. And uh, right now I'm, I'm probably just going to do like two or three more of these um these bedrooms right now and these bedrooms aren't 100 percent done i think last episode i was doing bedrooms as well um and people were writing stuff along the lines like you forgot the flower pots and things like that and i came back in afterwards and i fixed all those mistakes like for example I, a couple of times i missed a couple of shaders uh which is fine you know if i miss a few things uh, don't get too don't be yelling at your uh, computer screen because i i eventually come back and fix them it's just sometimes i forget about it when i'm trying to talk and build at the same time it's not as the easiest thing in the world to do it's a lot easier to be precise when you, the only thing you're focusing on is building. But I like these blue carpets, guys. What do you think about these? I think these look pretty good um, for these bedrooms. I, I like them. I don't know about the green. Uh, how, actually, how far up are we? We have like, I would say two, four, yeah, we have like four more of these to do. But I think they look pretty good with the blue um, right alongside the bedroom. So, or, sorry, alongside the bathroom. So I, I think this looks pretty good. Uh, we're just kind of slowly but surely knocking this out. So we have, we're going to eventually, probably by the end of the day, I'll have all these bedrooms done. Already the bathrooms are done. And then I'll have all the bedrooms for the entire building finished, which is cool. Uh, and then I got to figure out this room right here, which, no, wait, no, not this room. Uh, wait, wrong level. Here, this room right here, which I think is going to be another bathroom, which connects to the, the planning room here. I might even still punch this out and then create something along the lines of this. So I'll have this opened up like this right um the elevator shaft is just to the right of this building this is the elevator shaft right here so we can't really mess with this too much as you can see so that's fine uh let me go ahead and just kind of fill this in real quick like that and then let me just put some glowstone down so i can see oh god i just picked up the vomit block stay away from me thank god i uh, burnt down the jungle in this world because we didn't want to look at any of those vomit blocks so another thing I could do is do something like that and then have a closet there, like a small closet. Can I potentially punch out some space on this wall? What's this room here? Oh, this is the planning room for the other side. Ooh, interesting. Um, hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I would do this. Maybe, just maybe. I could, I could make this room a little bit smaller and go like this. So I could kind of cut off that wall there, put a a small bathroom there or a small closet probably a small closet because we have plenty of bathrooms on this uh on each one of these apartments so i'll do something like that um and then this this will just be empty space what's in here um this is the okay this is the elevator shaft for the main elevator okay good to know all right that actually might yeah that, that is the main elevator okay so yeah this room would be kind of changed up a little bit um the elevator shaft does kind of put a big weird space in this room so that's a little bit of an issue but I could put, like, the gaming stuff in this corner. I could have, like, a big bulletin board on this wall. <laughs> the planning room, guys. We're doing heists. And uh, I don't know what I'd put in this corner. Maybe, like, a water cooler or just, like, Danville, Sandville. And then we could have a closet in here. So that might be another uh, an alternative to what the design we already had for these er for that area of the house or the of the apartment. So that's a possibility. And then the same th on this side over here is basically the exact same thing. Uh, then the next thing we'd have to do is just try to figure out what we want to do with each one of these levels. So I already have kind of like a design put in right uh, here, but I don't, I'm not in love with it and I'm not uh, attached to it all that much. So I could always change it. I think I need to get rid of some of the green wall. I think that's a little bit of an overdose on green wall, but um, not too much longer, guys, until Eclipse is done. I'm probably going to work on a stream as well on my next live stream for uh, Constructing Los Angeles. But with that, guys, I'm going to conclude today's episode. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to have the pier done as well. We might actually just finish it up on stream as well. So we have a couple of things to get done, the eclipse towers and the pier. And then we're going to have some new projects to work on after that, like the second eclipse tower. I'll probably take a break, actually. After I finish the first eclipse tower, I'll probably take a break and work on some other things like the plaza uh, and maybe some of the interior of some other buildings before I go back and do the second eclipse tower. Because that would be just, you know repetitive to the point where i'm pulling my hair out but thanks for watching everybody it's been dan lags give it a like if you did enjoy it leave your question of the day submissions in the comment section or send it to me on twitter and i will see you guys on the next episode peace out